Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And today I am filming part two of my What Will I Choose series for the FabFitFun Spring 2023 box. So if you missed it, I already uploaded the video for categories four through six, and I went into more detail in terms of the pricing and the dates, but uh, today we're just going to skip right to the good stuff. So I think this video will include at least category three, I haven't quite decided yet whether it will include categories one or two, uh, but of course if I end after category three, I will film an additional video where I talk about categories one and two. So as of the date I am filming this, that is all of the spoilers that we have so far. But on Friday, which is tomorrow in my time, uh, they are sharing the past box favorites that will be added into all the categories. So I will be talking about those in a future video, as well as the refills and the boost options, which will be revealed next Monday and Tuesday. All right, so let's go ahead and get into category three here. So this is a category that is open to all members to select and additional choices will be $10. So you get to select one as part of the cost of the box, but if you want any additional items, they will be $10 each. All right, so the first option here is the Katie Kime two-piece berry bowls. These have a $25 value. It says, these reusable berry bowls are a perfect complement to the Katie Kime plates and placemats. And a note on this, because I've already seen what has been revealed for categories one and two, the plates, I believe, are in, those will be in category two. So I'll be talking about those soon. And they did upload a short which showed placemats that did seem to match the general colors of the berry bowls and the plates, but we haven't seen those revealed yet in a customization choice. So I don't know if those will be a boost option or if those will be in the add-on store, but it does seem like there will be placemats that match these as well. So you get one, I guess, larger light blue bowl, and then one smaller, darker blue bowl. Uh, it says they can be used to keep your fruit fresh in the fridge or displayed nicely on your table. There are also the sustainable choice in place of plastic bags or containers when you hit the farmer's market for your weekly finds. And as Catherine McCarty said, I don't see how these would be practical to bring to a farmer's market being ceramic and open like this, but you know, you do you. So the small is four by four by 2.5. It holds about 13 ounces and the large is five by five by about three inches and those hold about 22 ounces. So it says place berries from the market into your berry bowls, wash with water, dab the bottom with a paper towel and display for guests. Uh, these are dishwasher safe, which is a definite plus. It says that they are stoneware with glazed color. So I think these are cute. I just don't think I would get enough use out of them to justify the cabinet space. Uh, so I will be passing on those. And the next option is the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trance Lipstick in Soft Core and Fembot. So there's two different color options. You would just choose one of those. And these each have a $39 value. It says, kiss your other lipsticks goodbye when you add this to your spring box. These Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trance Lipsticks have revolutionized the game with their powder in a bullet formula, allowing them to saturate your lips in color yet remain lightweight. The oil infused lipsticks conditions lips, making this an obvious choice when it comes to your makeup. The only decision you need to make is which stunning shade to choose. Pro tip, you can also use these on your cheeks for a gorgeous pop of color. We love a multitasking product and these each have four grams or 0.14 ounces. It suggests, uh, as far as how to use, it says prep lips with an exfoliant, then dab on a hint of sheer balm to ensure a smooth surface. Line lips with a lip pencil following your pout's natural contours or drawing just outside the lip line for added volume. So I don't have either of these colors, but I do have a mini in this formula, and that is in the shade Full Panic which is what I'm wearing now, is this kind of bright pink color. 
And I will agree that it does feel very lightweight and I just applied this without any lip liner or gloss or anything like that. I did apply a lip oil earlier, but it wasn't directly before applying the lipstick. So I think part of it might've worn off or sunk in that kind of thing. I think it does give you a pretty comfortable matte finish on your lips. I was able to get, I think, a pretty good application and smooth line without any lip liner or anything. So if you do like a matte lipstick, I think you will really enjoy this formula. As I am talking to you now, I do feel like my lips feel slightly dry. So I'd probably want to go in with a lip gloss on top of these. Uh, I do really like the Pat McGrath lip gloss formula, by the way. So in case any of her lip glosses show up in the add-on sale or in the boost or whatever, I do really enjoy her lip gloss formula. Long story short, I do plan to pick up at least one of these shades because I don't have either of the shades available and I don't have any of the matte trans lipsticks in her full size. Uh, I do have, for example, the Lux Trans lipstick, which I think has been discontinued. I think the bullet is the same though, and it's a very nice kind of luxurious looking lipstick case. So I think it's definitely a product worth looking into if you're at all interested. I will say that if you do happen to miss out on this option, so additional choices are $10, which I think is still under what you would probably pay for a Pat McGrath lipstick on sale. Uh, but Pat McGrath is kind of notorious for running pretty deep discounts on her site, like up to 40% off, especially around Black Friday. She often puts lip products on sale for like 12 or $14 each, something like that. So I would take this $39 value with a bit of a grain of salt, but I think still for $10, if that is an additional choice for you, I think it is well worth checking out. And just by way of description, so I think some of the product photos for Pat McGrath products are a little misleading. I'll try to give you a few different kind of renderings of what the shades might look like, but I think the still photos look like they're a little misleading. Uh, Fembot is a mid-tone neutral pink and soft core is described as a cool pink, just for reference. And just looking at her website again, I don't know if this is because she's had, like I said, several sales recently, so they're just sold out or out of stock. I'm always a little suspicious when certain things go into a FabFitFun box or any other subscription box because sometimes it feels like brands are trying to unload products that they're going to be discontinuing soon. So I don't know, it could just be a stock issue. I guess I would be kind of surprised if Pat McGrath released a new formulation of matte lipsticks, but you never know. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly which of those I would probably pick up. I might try to get both, to be honest. Both of these colors look like they would work well on me. They're not too kind of flesh toned or light. Uh, so. I might get both, but we'll see what happens in my unboxing video down the road. Okay, so the next product is the Sprinkles Tumbler. This has a $30 value. And it's interesting to me because I did film the categories four through six video before the category three was revealed. And knowing what I know now, so if you recall, one of the options for category four was the Sprinkles Silicone Baking Cup set. And I said that I already had some silicone baking cups, but I could see that being kind of a cute thing to include in a gift for a friend. And now that they have a tumbler from Sprinkles as an option as well, I think that kind of lends additional weight to what I was saying. And I do have a friend, Aaron, if you're watching, click ahead. Uh, but I do have a friend whose birthday is in July and she is a big baker. So I was thinking it would be really cute to pick up the tumbler, the baking cups and the cookbook from the Sprinkles uh, founder and put them all in a little gift. I think that would be really cute as like a little combination of items there. So I think now I might actually pick up the baking cups and this tumbler and pair them with the cookbook. Sprinkles does also sell like cupcake mixes or cake mixes. So if you have a friend who's maybe less, less DIY, I guess, when it comes to baking, if they want kind of a more 
a quick and dirty solution. Maybe you could pick up a cake mix instead of the cookbook. But even just looking at the table of contents of the cookbook, uh, they had a lot of, I guess, inspired recipes from different celebrities and that kind of thing, which seemed fun. So I might actually pick up one of those for myself. In addition to one for my friend, I think the cookbooks were like $16 or whatever. So it's not, not anything too crazy. Uh, so yeah, so I think that would be really cute. And if you really wanted to bulk it out, you could add your friend's favorite like coffee or tea or hot cocoa or whatever else they like to drink as part of the set so they could have a little afternoon treat for themselves eventually. Uh, so yeah, I think I will be picking that one up. One thing I did want to mention about that product though was that it is not dishwasher safe, which is kind of a deal breaker for me. I guess it's kind of annoying when you gift something that's not dishwasher safe, but like I said, it, it would just make a really cute gift. So I guess it's up to your friend how often they use it. And the tumbler is 20 ounces. It just says keep drinks cold, so I don't know. I assume you could put like hot drinks in it as well. But anyway, my thoughts are still the same. Okay, uh, so the next product is the Hanky Panky uh, what is this called? It just says hanky panky. It's a set of two thongs basically. So it is a $48 value and it comes in two different size options. One is standard and one is plus. It says, this is the first season ever that we don't have you covered. Yep, in honor of our birthday, we're bringing you the cutest, comfiest way to get into your birthday suit with a hanky panky panty pack. Uh, so the standard fits sizes 4 through 14, and the plus size fits sizes 14W through 24W. And they are 85% nylon, 15% spandex, and they do have a cotton lining. So I have never tried these personally. I think they have kind of a cult following, or at least they did in the past. And... I think these are kind of notorious for being very size adaptive and stretchy. I guess I'm just not a big fan of thongs generally. It's just not my preferred type of underwear. And what really kind of, I guess, turns me off is that if you go to the Hinky Pinky website and look up similar styles, they say they're hand wash and I just don't have the time or inclination to hand wash my underwear. So that that's going to be a no for me. But if you do like hanky panky thongs, that is an option for you. The next option is the Skin Ink Cryo Ice Sake Roller. This has a $48 value. It says it's getting cold in here and we're loving it. The sake inspired cryo facial brings the chill and increases microcirculation minimizes pores, deep puffs, sensitive areas, reduces appearance of redness and inflammation, and even lifts your features. So what you do is you put the cryo ice sake roller in the freezer until it turns pink uh, for at least 30 minutes, and then you allow it to sit out for five minutes before use. And you glide it onto clean skin using a pressing motion for a maximum of 30 minutes or until the device is no longer cold. So the tips, it says, store in the freezer in between uses, apply your favorite serums, and then use the device so it glides smoother. It's professional grade aluminum alloy and ABS. So it took me a while to kind of figure out what this was just from the kind of single photo that was initially available on the FabFitFun community page. But basically it's the bottom bit that you kind of hold up against your skin. Uh, so it's interesting that they're including this and the like eye mask that we saw in a previous category as kind of like deep puffing tools or whatever. Yeah, I just don't think I would use this. I mean, if, if it sounds appealing to you, it's a lot smaller than you would think it was just on first glance. And it does say it has a $48 value. When you go to their website, I think it says it's $24, but it has a $48 value. So I don't know if that's a limited time sale or, or what. But anyway, it's kind of cute, but I just don't think I would use it. So I'm gonna skip on that. Uh, the next product is the Fakai Clean Stylers Root Lift Volume Spray. This has a $28 value. It says a targeted non-sticky volume spray that adds humidity resistant volume and intense root lift to all hair types. 
powered by triple boost technology to volumize, lift, and restore broken keratin bonds. You get five ounces, it says, shake before use, spray targeted nozzle directly to the roots on damp hair from crown to brow level, front to back, to cover entire top of head. Rub into scalp with fingertips for even distribution, then direct heat to roots to activate the products. So it seems like you should use this in combination with your hair dryer. So it wouldn't be like a wash and go type style. So I already have a product kind of like this that I think I got in like an Ipsy. Uh, I forget what it was called exactly, but I break it out from time to time if I really want to kind of go for a certain type of style. But because my hair is wavy, I guess I'm just not too concerned about root lifting necessarily. So I think I will be passing on that. The next product is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. This has a $24 value and it appears that this product is limited uh, because it has a little hourglass next to the name of the product. I will note that the Pat McGrath lipsticks, for example, I think in the video, the FabFitFun video that they uploaded, they said it was limited, but then on this community page, it doesn't say that it's limited. So I don't know if they've gotten more stock or, or what. But for now, this Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner is showing as limited. It says, this eyeliner is formulated to create the perfect line every time. The cutting edge smudge proof formula and the innovative dual fiber brush make a dynamic duo. Clearly showing why this is an Allure's Best of Beauty Award winner and one of the brand's best sellers. So normally I don't reach for a liquid eyeliner like this, so I'm leaning towards no on this one. I do break out a liquid eyeliner from time to time depending on the look that I do and if I'm using like fake eyelashes, I tend to reach for a liquid eyeliner, but those those times are kind of few and far between. I do like that it has a says dual fiber brush. I need to do a little bit more research because I don't know if by dual fiber brush they mean that it has both kind of a traditional felt style and a brush tip. Yeah, the website doesn't really provide any additional information. So if you have tried this product, let us know down below what your experience has been with it. If the brush tip does seem to be unique in any way. So I will probably skip on this one, but like I said, you never know never know what's going to happen when you actually go into customize. Okay, the next product is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Daily Foaming Face Wash. This has a $44 value. It says, wash the dirt and stress of the day away with this gentle cleanser formulated with AHAs and fruit enzymes to cleanse the skin and remove dirt, makeup, and surface impurities, resulting in smoother skin. And this is four ounces. It says, apply a small amount to wet face and neck and massage gently for 30 seconds. Rinse and gently pat dry. So it looks like it has lactic acid and glycolic acid are the AHAs. So my skin is on the drier side, so I think I will be skipping on this. I do incorporate acids into my skincare routine in kind of more limited ways, but I generally don't reach for an exfoliating face wash like this. I would rather have something that is going to kind of preserve my moisture barrier. So I think I'll be skipping on that one. Uh, the next option though is one that I will definitely be picking up. Uh, this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. This has a $44 value. And it says, with so many proven benefits for the skin, goat milk products are becoming increasingly more popular in the world of skincare and for good reason. I think Beekman 1802 has founded their brand on the idea of using goat milk. Uh, this goat milk cleanser from Kate Somerville is designed to cleanse and soothe the skin, leaving it soft and moisturized without tightness or irritation. And this is four ounces. It says, apply a small amount to damp face and neck and massage gently for 30 seconds. Rinse and gently pat dry. So I think if you do have dry skin, this is a great product to try out. As you can tell, this is an empty tube of it, but I did pull this from my skincare empties. Uh, and this is the same size as well, I believe. This is four ounces. So I've kind of used this and the Delicate Soothing Cleanser kind of interchangeably for the past, I don't know, year or more at this point. So what I like to do with this is I keep it in the shower and this is obviously a different product, but it has a very kind of similar texture and I use it in the same way. So that's why I'm kind of showing you it. So what I'll do is I'll wet my face in the shower and then I'll put some into my hands 
and kind of massage it into my face. And then I'll just leave it on my face while I'm washing my body, washing my hair, whatever else. And then I'll rinse it off at the end of my shower. So I almost kind of use it as a mask in a way, kind of keeps my face hydrated while I'm in the shower. So yeah, so I really like this as kind of a like lotion-y type cleanser. It doesn't really foam up. Let's see what happens if I just kind of spray it with some Fix Plus. Yeah, it's not really gonna foam up or anything. So if that is what you're interested in, it's probably not going to be the product for you. This kind of cleanser isn't one that I normally reach for to remove my makeup. So I can't really speak to how it does with that. I guess I can see that product kind of working as like a first cleanse, if you're gonna double cleanse to remove makeup and everything, but I don't think that product alone is probably gonna be enough to remove makeup if that's what you're into. Uh, and this does have from the goat milk, I think it has lactic acid. So if you are sensitive to lactic acid, Again, it may not be the ideal product for you. Lactic acid is kind of nice for dry skin because dry skin tends to have that kind of, I guess, surface level dehydration and dead skin cells that need to be kind of sloughed off. So it does kind of have, I guess, some mild exfoliation properties, but it's really pretty gentle. It's not going to do a whole lot for you. Uh, it also has some honey extract, also has fragrance. So for me, having kind of, I guess, mildly eczema prone skin, I've never had any issues with it, but if you do have super sensitive skin, just make sure to take a look at the ingredients and uh, like I've said before, maybe just pop them into the Paula's Choice Beautypedia page just to see if there's anything that kind of stands out to you. Okay, so that's a definite yes for me. And the last product here for this category is the Ren Clean Skin Care Radiance Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. This has a $51 value. It says, sometimes you need a little help when it comes to looking well rested through the day and we have just the thing. Combat tired eyes with this hydrating cream proven to visibly reduce the appearance of dark circles after seven days of use. Free radicals that cause puffiness are neutralized and the eye area is smoother and brighter looking throughout the day thanks to the perfectly balanced mix of elderberry flower extract and glycogen. And you get... 0.5 ounces. It says only use one pump for both eyes. Gently tap over the under eye, eyelid, and brow bone until well absorbed. So I do actually have this product. I had it stashed away in my skincare and I pulled it out and have been using it for like the last couple days uh, since they announced this category. And I guess a couple things I like about this product. I like that it's in an airless pump. Let me show you the texture here. So that's what the texture looks like. I'd say it's decently creamy, kind of on that like thicker, kind of stickier side. I guess, like I said, because I have eczema, I'm always a little concerned that kind of more active eye creams are going to irritate. Uh, my eyelids in particular seem to be kind of eczema prone. So, so far it hasn't caused any issues, but I've only been using it for a couple days. So I don't know if extended use would cause any irritation. It has like a light scent to it. Let me see what the page says. Yeah, so I don't see any fragrance specifically listed, so I'm not sure what's giving it the scent. It's nice and pleasant to me. It's not too strong, kind of floral maybe. Uh, I guess what I don't like about this, it just feels kind of cheap to me, the packaging. So if you are someone who really, I guess, wants a very luxurious kind of experience with your skincare. I don't know if this is going to give it to you. I've used different Ren products in the past and I've enjoyed them. So I guess I don't have anything against the brand generally. I guess I'm just a little dubious that any eye cream can genuinely kind of darken the appearance of under eyes. Uh, so if you've seen any of my kind of, I guess, get ready with me style videos, you can see what my under eyes look like without makeup. Uh, today, for example, I just used the new e.l.f corrector, which is a pretty kind of substantial color corrector in addition to the item beauty uh, concealer, which is a pretty kind of full coverage concealer. So I do have pretty dark under eyes, but I think part of that, you know, with genetics or just my skin tone, I think there's a limited amount that you can expect from an eye cream. So if you do have super dark under eyes, I guess I would encourage you to look into a corrector as opposed to a 
eye cream. And if you do want, I guess, a more kind of no makeup makeup look or something that's more kind of a skincare makeup hybrid, uh, you may want to look into the Color Science Total Eye Renewal Therapy. This has an SPF of 35. It's a purely mineral sunscreen and it does come in different shades. I have it in the shade Fair. And from what I understand, using a sunscreen can kind of help as well. But you can see this has a little bit of a kind of peach tone to it that kind of helps correct. This is what I use if I kind of have a no makeup makeup day, but I want to look a little less dead. Uh, that is something that I'll reach for. It is kind of expensive. I think it's like in the $60 range. I've seen it pop up on Costco from time to time, but if you do have a an FSA, a flexible spending account, I have been successful in getting this reimbursed through that. So it's basically getting it without paying tax, if that makes sense, like paying tax on the income that you used to purchase it. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, it's kind of a unique product and one that I would recommend looking into if you do kind of deal with that issue. And again, don't want to go into the kind of corrector and concealer route. So I already have this, so obviously I won't be picking it up. Uh, let me know if you are still interested in it. I'd be interested in hearing your experience. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it there. That is the end of category three for now anyway. Uh, like I've said before, they will have, I think, past box favorites. So I'll be covering those in a future video as well as categories one and two. Uh, so I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll have everything linked down below. And until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon.